are in listen-only mode. Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Jensen, the Mom Ambassador Liaison at Moms Meet. Thanks for joining us today for the Door to Door Organics webinar, where you'll get your questions answered by Carol, the Door to Door Organics Marketing Manager, along with Lucas, the Customer Service Manager. If you have any questions, please be sure to type them into the chat window. With that said, Carol, please take it away. Great, thanks so much, Danielle. We are so excited to have you guys with us today. It's really great on our end to be able to partner with Moms Meet on this program, and we hope you really like what we have to offer. So we're going to start off with a really basic agenda, a little bit of who we are, a little on our history, a little on our brand, how the service itself works, and the benefits of our service. Um, then we'll take you through our website training of how to create an account, do a little tour of the website, and leave some time open for questions. So um, I look forward to hearing some of the questions you guys might have. So really who we are, we're an online organic produce company, an uh, online grocer that specializes in organic produce and local and natural groceries. And really our mission is really to empower people to eat good food. So you'll see that throughout all our communications. We really try to focus on getting people to get the good food straight to their table. And really what that means is it's good for your health, our community, as well as the environment. So we focus that as being our standards for all products that we carry. We partner with as many farmers as possible, especially as many local farmers, especially during the growing season, to bring fresh organic produce and the groceries right to your, your doorstep. So you'll see a lot of local offerings in what we have on our website. So you may be asking where are we located. Um, we have different locations across the country, and every location is different, and that's why we have a specific website for every location, because each location we want to, as I mentioned, capture as many local and local farmers and local grocers as possible. So we are located in Chicago, the tri-state region, which includes Philadelphia, New Jersey, and Delaware, and kind of a fourth state. We also have just recently expanded into the Staten Island region in New York City. Um, we are in Kansas City, Colorado region, and also in Michigan, part of Ohio as well, including Toledo. So a little bit about us. Obviously, we care about what you eat, and we've been caring since 1997. So we've been all about empowering people to eat good food since then. We started in Pennsylvania and have expanded different locations across the country, as I mentioned, but we've really kept our standards throughout this process. One thing we have changed is really about the development of your food journey, and that's about getting things such as meal planning and cooking tools available to you, which I'll go over a little later when we tour the site. So really what we believe is that food should be good. As I mentioned already, is that we really believe in good food and really partnering with many as local and natural grocers as we can, as well as farmers, and making sure that they keep to the standards that we have, including animal welfare and other elements of what we call good food. We also believe our customers are the best. Um, we have our service guaranteed 100% to delight. And Lucas, do you want to talk a little bit about our 100% guarantee? Yeah, so essentially, um, you know, everyone has their different preferences on, on how produce should be uh, to a certain degree. We've got some strict standards in place. Uh, and quality controls to ensure that what you receive is top notch. But if you're ever not satisfied, we have what we call the perfect pick guarantee, where we'll absolutely 100% replace or send you out a new item uh, if it wasn't to your liking. And all you have to do is just let us know, no questions asked. We'll process that as soon as possible. Great. Thank you, Lucas. And as Lucas mentioned, we have quality standards. So it's a must for us. And you'll see that in what we do all the time because we actually have people who hand pick all the produce that goes into your box as well as the grocery stuff and they make sure that they we actually tell them and you'll hear them say is like would you give that to your mom would that you give that to your sister and um, they basically make sure that their quality standards not just meet their own but exceed it free delivery and so this is a little misnomer it, we do not charge any delivery fees whatsoever but what is it's included in the price in which you're paying and we make sure that it's a standard price for everyone so that everyone's treated the same way and it's honestly a lot cheaper than most other delivery services have. So basically we deliver to many different areas and in almost every case there's no charge. In some very minor cases in the very far areas of Colorado we have a one or two dollar charge but everywhere else and I would say 98% of the cases of our areas we have absolutely no delivery fees on them. We also strive for eco-friendliness. So a lot of our packaging is either recycled materials or recyclable. Um, we collect the materials after you use them, so we make sure that we use a lot, reuse a lot of stuff that you have or we recycle those materials. Um, we also keep in mind in all of our printing aspects of making sure all of our materials are FSC certified, as well as keep that in mind as related to a lot of the transportation that we have. So we keep our transportation to a, a, the least minimum or most efficient way possible to save you trips to the grocery store and in turn save gas and, and in turn save a little bit of the, the planet. 
Flexibility is key. So you basically have a couple of days to change your order at all times, but you, if any time you have trouble, you can always contact customer service. You can also skip orders, put it on hold. Basically, there's no commitment whatsoever. So you have complete control over your account every week. So the benefits. This is some of the things that actually our customers tell us. So I think it's the best way of talking about benefits of our service. 91% of our customers say that our service helps them eat more fruits and veggies, which is especially great for little ones. Um, I think if you look through our social media, you'll see a lot of stories being told about kids running to the door like it's Christmas Day and opening the boxes and eating tons of fruit and veggies. And so it's not just for the kids, but also for the families. Working with your produce box each week, you can make a lot more integration of fruits and vegetables into your daily diet. 86% of our customers say we're more convenient than grocery shopping options. I think on average, our customers spend somewhere between five and ten minutes on the website, which is a lot less than what you might spend at the grocery store. So I think on average 45 minutes, so even an hour and a half, especially with little ones in the cart asking for things and keeping a distraction, um, it's a lot more convenient most of our customers feel. Also, 83% of our customers say that we help reduce the number of trips to grocery stores. So related to the last one, not just like saving you time and convenience, but just saving you trips in general, um, give you more time with you and your family. And then last but not least, we definitely check out our testimonials on Facebook, Instagram, and Yelp. Um, we are a very transparent company. Um, we encourage people to give us negative feedback wherever possible, but we, of course, enjoy the positive stuff, too. So you'll get to see a real honest sense for what our customers feel about our service. So how our service works. Here's just a little top line of um, how to work on your service. And probably many of you have actually either signed up already or have looked through the website itself. Um, but it's real simple. You basically set a produce box that you like, which could be fruit, veggie, or fruit and veggie. You choose your delivery day. You set some preferences for what you like and what you don't like. And then you customize your order each week. Every Friday, we send out emails to all customers saying, here's what's in your box this week. And you have up to five substitutions. That's different for different size boxes, Dana? Yeah? No, all boxes have the same amount. So, okay, five substitutions for every size box. And you can add in stuff you don't like. I'm probably the only person in the world that doesn't like kale right now. So I like to in kale for things like avocados and bananas on my weekly box. You can also customize your order as you go through. And then in addition, sub, um, shop for additional groceries, especially things like dairy. A lot of our local dairy is uh, very popular, as well as some meat for your meat-loving people. So I'll walk you through the very brief steps of how it works. As I mentioned, so uh, we have different types of boxes. You can do a mixed fruit or veggie, um, and then you can choose the size of your box as well. If you want to do a mixed bitty, it's really good for one to two people. But if you have a larger family, you can go as, as large as a medium or a large. So here's how you create your account. So we're going to walk you through using your code. First, you start off going to the home page. At the very top, you'll see a part that says sign up. And you can click there, and this screen that you see currently will, will populate. You go ahead and add in your code, which could be called a gift certificate code, but in this case, we're calling it a coupon code, and you hit apply. And that's when you'll go through the different steps of picking the different box you like. After that, you'll pick whether you want it every week or every other week. We call our bi-weekly customers. Especially for smaller families, bi-weekly works out really great. And once you're new to the service, you can kind of work in how you want to use all your fruits and veggies. And every other week is a good way to, to get in. You also get to choose your day of delivery. In um, many cases, we have up to five day delivery days a week that you can choose from. And in some of our remote cases, we only have one or two days. And that goes back to the efficiency of driving that I was talking about before in terms of how we route our drivers out there to make sure we have the most efficient use of gas. And then the third step is just entering your delivery information. Really straightforward. And then you wrap it up with your billing information. So once you go through all those steps, you basically have complete access to the, to the, to the website. Yeah, and one, one thing to note about the billing process, uh, and that relates to our guarantee, is that we actually bill uh, customers the day after the delivery arrives. So if there's ever anything that uh, the customer did not expect or they were missing, if anything like that comes up, it's pretty easy to adjust the bill prior to running the credit card, and that's kind of a nice feature for our customers. Great. Thank you, Lucas. So I'm going to walk you guys through a little bit of the website. So once you've logged in, you can see my name here is admin. Um, and basically, you'll have this screen show up, and you'll be able to go in and do whatever you need for your weekly order. See. Currently, I'm logged into our Chicago site. And I'll show you my personal account on the Colorado site, which is where I'm located, in just a minute. So in Chicago, and you can see it's Chicago by the URL here up here, you can go in, and once you have your order, you can also explore our shop area. 
So there's different places to our shop. You'll see at the very top, there's all these different categories you can go in. So you can look at produce. You can look at um, meals and deli. It has all the different elements of our shop. My favorite place is to go to the local aspect, local part of our shop. A lot of people love the sales shop part of our shop as well, and I'll show you that in a few. If you scroll down in our local section, you'll see just the local products. So when produce season really kicks up, which will be probably in about a month or so, you'll see a lot more local pro produce come in. But for now, it's been obviously the winter has been rough on us out in Chicago, so you don't see as much right now. But some of the categories that I love to talk about is the meat and fish categories. So you see a lot of local meat options here, our local dairy, and also our local bakery items. And you can see you can go through all the categories and just look at local products. You can also do a simple search. Let's say I felt like tofu this week. You can see I ended up in the top right, and it will show you all the different tofu products we carry. In addition, you also see recipes populate down here too, which brings us to the kitchen. The kitchen is a place where you can go and explore all different types of recipes we carry. And basically what you can do is go through and look at maybe some of the collections we have, like right now we're talking about detoxifying dishes. Or you can just search recipes in general. What's your favorite food, Lucas? Uh, me? Yeah. I like, uh, I like kale, actually. Okay, you like kale. All right, good. So let's, let's say I had kale in my box this week and I had no idea what to do with it. I can go through and look at the recipes that just have kale as a primary ingredient. So you can see in here, oh, I've had this one. This is actually good. This kale and cremini pasta is one of my personal favorites. So you can go through and, and you can just look at the recipe right just like this and make it yourself. There's a little bit on how long it takes to make, a little bit on what people rated it in the past, and also about the serving size. And while you're looking through here, let's say you didn't have any garlic and you wanted to add to your grocery, you can go ahead and click on this and add this to your, to your basket. You can also bookmark as well as add to your plan, which is another way to shop through our site. So those are the basics. Um, I do want to show you a little bit about um, how to sub, and I'll do that in just a minute because actually in the process of this where we reset our systems every Friday, and so Colorado's not open just yet, so I could show you my personal account. But basically you'll see when you have your order in here, see where it says sub? You can go through and sub and unsub, and by the end of this call, our service will be open um, to do that in Colorado, so I'll be able to show that with you guys. So, do you have anything else you want to review there, Lucas? No, I think we're good. Okay. Um, Danielle, if you want to take away for questions, we're, we're happy to talk through. While Danielle's working on some technical to come back on, um, I'll walk through a couple of our most popular questions. and. Lucas, if you don't mind answering these, um, so can can people take their own delivery day? Yeah, you know, uh, like I said, when you sign up for your process uh, or sign up for your account, you'll put in your delivery zip code, and the system will automatically populate which delivery days are available in your zip code, and then you can choose uh, from those. Now, let's say you had Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday as options, and you initially chose Monday, and then you realized Wednesday worked better for you. You can easily just go into your account and change the delivery day that works best for you if, you if you think that might be the case. Great. And what do people do if they're not home when the produce comes or when any box comes? It's, re it's really not a problem. Um, we deliver, obviously, in Chicago and Philadelphia and some major cities. We also deliver in very rural areas. So uh, if you live in a, um, like a city and maybe a secure building, we usually have a vendor code to get in. And we can take your box and leave it at your front door. They always say safe. Uh, a lot of times we deliver in rural areas where weather may be impacted, but our boxes are insulated very well. And during the summer months, for example, I'll order milk and I'll leave my box out for over 12 hours and I come home and it's still very cold. So Great, great, great. And then what's the best way for anyone to contact customer service? You know, we love, we love hearing from customers. We, we are open every day. Uh, this is Mountain Time from 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we have uh, both uh, phone or all three, phone call, email, and live chat, where you can call us anytime, contact us, and we'll, we'll get back to you pretty quickly. We have usually, uh, via email, we have about a four and a half hour turnaround time. 
obviously phone calls are, are much quicker as well as chats. Mm -hmm. And to get that information on the phone number and emails, it's just at the bottom of the website, right? They can just scroll down the very bottom and hit contact us? There's there's uh, both a contact us at the bottom of the website. There's also a contact us on the left-hand side of the website here. And awesome. and if you'll click that, if you guys are still seeing this, you can chat with a real live person. You can send us a message either way. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Gotcha. All right, thanks for going uh, over those uh, questions, guys. Uh, did you have any more you wanted to go over quickly, or did you want me to start asking some? One thing, actually, I did have I wanted to talk about, too, is also a little bit about our farm. Um, so as I mentioned, we try to get as many local um, and organic farms as well as vendors as possible. And if you want to learn more about the different people that we, we partner with, if you go to any of our websites and go to the very bottom and click on our farm, you'll see a whole list of stories of actually, we've gone out and visited a majority of these, um, and you can actually click on some of this where it says website or learn more, and you'll see that actually we've had people go out and actually take photographs and talk to these people, because these are relationships we definitely extremely value, and you'll get to see the first hand knowledge of what it's like for some of these different vendors. I love this video too from in the mill. Have you seen it? It's yeah. really good. So I think that was basically it. I, I, at the very end, I would like to go over a little bit about subbing, but it looks like we're not quite live just yet. But other than that, I'd love to take some other questions. Okay, great. Thanks so much for that great presentation. We have so many questions coming in. Uh, so the first question we have here um, is Mom Ambassador Maureen wondering if um, all of your produce, your fruits and veggies are always organic. Absolutely. All of our, all our produce is absolutely certified organic, and that's a requirement from any farm that comes to us. Okay, great. Uh, we have a question coming in uh, wondering if there's a cancellation fee if they want to stop the service at any time. Uh, absolutely not. We, uh, you, we, we close the website at 8 a.m. the day prior to delivery for edits uh, and cancellations. Um, as far as individual orders go, but if you have a subscription and you want to cancel it, or even if you just want to place it on hold uh, for, let's say you're going out of town for a few weeks, there's no fees associated with any of that whatsoever. Okay, great. Uh, we have a couple questions coming in about payments. I'm just wondering what sort of payments do you accept on your website? Is it pretty common, the payments you take? Yeah, we take all major credit cards. Uh, we only, um, for the safety of our drivers, just uh, to prevent them from carrying a lot of uh, funds around, we only take payment online, so we take any major credit card. Okay, great. Uh, we have a question from my mom, Ambassador, wondering um, who is actually delivering the boxes? Is it a service like USPS or FedEx, or do you have your own truck? Um, we actually have our own crew of uh, drivers and vehicles that we've trained here. We, we feel like that's the best way to present our brand. Plus, with the way that we route things uh, in an eco-friendly way, that's one way for us to ensure that happens. Okay, great. Um, so, Mom Ambassador, um, on top of that comment you just made, um, is is wondering, since she sees meat and fish and dairy on the website, so are all the trucks equipped to keep all these products fresh for delivery? Yes, they are. Um, we actually, our, our trucks, um, they're, well, obviously they're insulated, but... It's more the way we insulate things is we have uh, packs within insulated boxes. So you have a double layer there um, where you have ice packs against meat, and then you have that within an insulated box. So again, um, you, we, we compare all our temperatures and our testing to USDA guidelines. We've never, we've never had an issue with that. And also, um, as it relates to cross-contamination, we have our meat packaged separately in the boxes too. Is that right? Absolutely. Not only is it packaged separately, but usually it's in a... Um, uh, like a insulated wrapper that, that's within the box as well and separated from the other items. Especially as it relates to produce. Um, in almost every case I've seen, that we have a special what we call a refrigerated box that carries most of our, our meat and dairy, and it's completely separate from, it never even sees the, the produce itself. All right, awesome. Uh, we have a couple of mom ambassadors wondering um, if produce online is, is marked as local, if they're um, interested in in choosing local produce so they can uh, choose as many local items as possible. Absolutely. That's a, I'm really glad someone asked that. Um, around in a couple of weeks, we're going to offer what we call the local farm box, which is a way to switch out your normal box to just local produce. Um, it's very similar to a CSA, but you can do a little more flexibility as it relates to sub -in. So I know a lot of people out here in Colorado love our local farm box, but it usually ends up being focused a lot on things like potatoes and lettuces. And if they do want to have that one avocado, they can actually sub it in. Because as you know, most avocados are either grown in California or not domestically. So 
um, we have a special project definitely, a product definitely highlighted on that. But more directly to the question your, your mom's meat ambassador is asking, um, you can add in local products as much as possible on that local page, or you can search for local farms. But right now our produce is somewhat limited due to the, the winter wrapping up. Even though it's the first day of spring, we're really excited about the new stuff coming in in about a month. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, we have a question from Holly, uh, wondering if the meats and the fish come in frozen or do they come in um, non-frozen? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a really good question. Um, unless specified, uh, all meat arrives frozen. Now we do have, we've released some what we call prepared meals that will start to thaw in advance because the thought process is prepared meals will usually want to be eaten pretty quickly, but all other meat arrives frozen. Okay, great. And when choosing a box, um, does the size box, is that based on a certain weight or is that based on price or amount of items in the box or how is that determined? Great question. I'm glad someone asked that. Um, on average, a bitty box contains somewhere between 8 and 12 items depending on how big they are. Do you have to know how many are in the medium or large? Uh, I think the large is 30 something items. Okay, so it's not by weight, it is by number of items. And then it depends if you sub in and out, sometimes those quantities change. So for example, if you sub out a, a big head of lettuce, you can usually get two or three apples to that. And that's because of the price differentials. We want to make sure it's as simple as possible, but at the same time as fair as possible. Okay, great. Yeah, it makes sense. We have a question from a mom ambassador wondering if you have specific, uh, you know, farmers that you trust in each region that you use constantly. That's a great question. Um, yes, we absolutely do. And to kind of get a sense of that, I would look through our farmer page on each location. You'll see we have them in Chicago as well as the tri-state region. Here's our Chicago farms. A lot of our, the farms we have in Chicago are either based in Michigan or Wisconsin. Um, so you can kind of scroll through and see some of the ones we talked to. Um, and then Kansas City is another one. Okay. They're all custom to each site. So yes, we do have very specific farms that are our favorites. And usually they end up being the local farms for sure. And we grow that relationship. Yeah, Daniel, I, I want to add one more thing. I mean, this one thing I enjoy about the company is, again, my team is the customer service team. so. Some organizations wouldn't uh, wouldn't think it was necessary for that team to necessarily visit the farms, but I've even been able to take my team to a few farms. Even this past Wednesday, we went to one of our salsa Did providers. Go to, oh, oh, yeah. didn't they go to Outlet too? I think they yeah. Like well last week. Yeah, we're we, looking for the spring stuff coming. We went to the mushrooms, uh, mm -hmm. went to Isabel Farms, and then last week went to a, or this week went to a salsa vendor. So it really is kind of nice for for even the, the customer service representatives to get to know the people we're working with, because we obviously get to know the customers pretty well also. And we support them greatly. I mean, a lot of times we've actually provided grant support for some farms in our area, um, in each area, I should say. So it's definitely a give and take, and we support them wholeheartedly. And some of them even have their own CSAs, which could be seen as a competitor, but, you know, we're all for growing those farms for sure. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a great practice. So we have a question coming in um, regarding the bakery section, and they're wondering if you partner um, with any local bakeries from each, from each region. Absolutely. And I think usually one or two bakeries we partner with. So in addition to having some of the national brands such as Rudy's and other ones, um, we do partner with a local bakery in each location. And I was just going to pull up, if I go back to the local page, for example, in Colorado, we, um, we actually have farm, oh, farm fresh, bakery fresh deliveries every single day. So the bread that you're getting from our local bakeries are usually less than 24 hours old. So you can see here, Red Mountain Bakery is our, our local bakery of choice. Um, in Chicago, it's Red Hen. And I'd have to look at the other sites, but I don't know offhand, but every location is a little different. And in many of our locations, uh, the bread literally arrives at our packing facility the morning of uh, the day you receive your box. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely fresh as well. And if you ever feel like it's not to your standards, just give customer service a call and they'll refund you no problem. OK, great. And um, is the milk that you sell online or your dairy, um, can that also be from local farmers? Do they have that option? It's a combination, absolutely. So, for example, in Chicago, um, I think our local dairy is, um, what's his name? Oh, oh Overweiss. Overweiss is our local dairy out in Chicago. So that's pretty close to the area. But we still carry national brands such as, um, gosh, what are some of the national brands? Sassy Cow is also another local one we have in Chicago. 
Hidden Valley, Organic Valley. Organic, Organic Valley. Valley is another a national brand we carry. So you have a, a combination of choices. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about pasteurization? I know that comes up a lot as a question. Well, you know, one one well one thing to note is, uh, you know, we had a question. I just want to be transparent here about the produce. Now, 100% of our produce is certified organic, USDA certified organic. Now, in dairy and meat options, we do offer both organic and um, what we consider to be all natural. And basically, all natural means no antibiotics, no hormones, no um, artificial ingredients, that kind of stuff. And we do that just to, uh, to offer a price levels for those who may not necessarily be able to afford all organic stuff. So in the, um, in the dairy and in the meats, we offer both organic and what we consider all natural. And you can read more about that on the product pages. Uh, we actually have um, icons that label like what they are. And so if you look at the screen, Carol's pulling up, um, let's just open up this milk here. You can see that it's uh, local. This one is local and it's uh, made in the USA. And this one does not label it as organic, so you know pretty clearly which is and which is not organic. Yeah, that's great. It definitely looks very clear. So we have a question from uh, Leslie, who's wondering if there's ever um, a product that she'd like to order from your site. Um, is she able to recommend a product, and what would be the best way um, for her to go about that? Hmm. So each of our product pages, uh, we do have, I believe, links to share with your friends. But that's probably, yeah, so you can add comments on Facebook at any time. That's me, by the way. That's, I'm Carol. Um, you can post on your own Facebook page uh, to share with other friends. But currently, other than just actually copying the URL and email it to your friend, that's about the only two ways we have to share. You well, know. let me clear. Are you saying offer suggestions to us on what to carry? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that what We've actually mean? gotten both both types of questions, so it's great that you guys are able okay. to answer both. So, yeah, we're, yeah she's yeah, also, yeah. we also have another question wondering, you know, if she doesn't see something on the website um, that she'd like to order from you guys, you know, is she able to recommend that you carry certain products? That was another question we got. Absolutely. We keep an internal document that our um, entire purchasing team reviews on a weekly basis. And what we'd like to do is uh, provide the manufacturer in a specific item name. And we update that document daily and they review it weekly uh, in their purchasing meetings. And also, just to add to that, we definitely encourage it. So we have a specialist in each location trying to find as many local products as possible, but we really have a team of one to three in each location working on, on that. So we absolutely do appreciate any suggestions because, as I mentioned, we're a huge supporter of locals and want to incorporate as much local product as possible. Okay, great. Um, so we have a couple questions coming in from Mom Ambassadors um, who have heard about the door-to-door -door unboxing videos, um, but we're wondering if you could kind of explain what that entails making them. Sure. So it's real simple. All you need to do is when you get your box, do a little video of you unboxing it, hopefully with your family too. We'd love to get feedback on people as you unbox your actual box. And just hashtag it Moms Meet and hashtag BTDO Unbox and we'll be tracking it that way. And Danielle, did you want them to post it all to the Moms Meet website? Yeah, sure. You can do that as, as well. well. You can post it on our Facebook. Um, or we have um, a form as well that you can submit it through, which is located okay, on and we'll be watching. the Door to Door Organic Sampling page. That's where it's located. Gotcha. Okay, great. And we'll be watching Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those. Okay, great. Thanks for explaining that. Uh, we have a question from Melissa wondering um, if you plan on exp expanding soon um, to bring your service to more regions. Not immediately, but we're always looking for new areas. Um, we, a lot of the different locations we've had have actually grown out of demand organically, so we watch carefully for people wanting our service out there. So I think we will be probably towards the end of the year, maybe next year, but nothing immediate right now that we're ready to announce. Yeah, Danielle, I offered to be the executive director of our Caribbean <laughs> office. <laughs> Hawaii? Yeah. How about Hawaii? Yeah, Hawaii. You shot me down. That would be nice. <laughs> So we have a, um, a comment and a question coming in that I want to share. So we got um, a great compliment from a mom ambassador who said she ordered her box and she said the customer service is amazing. So I wanted to share that comment. Um, and then another question about customer service. Um, the mom ambassador had came in just at the end um, when you were explaining about the 100% guarantee. So if you could just go over that again, she was wondering. Yeah. So what we, what we call here is the perfect pick. Um, and so... Like I said, occasionally uh, something could come up, uh, an item could get through our quality controls, which doesn't happen a lot, but happens occasionally, or maybe it was uh, it hit something in transition uh, to your house. If it's just not to your liking, all you have to do is drop us an email or call us, 
and we'll immediately either uh, refund you the cost of that item or we'll put a free one in your next box uh, with no questions asked. Okay, great. Thanks for going over that again. So we have a mm -hmm. question from Tracy, um, wondering, um, do the selections change on the website, you know, with seasons and certain produce um, being in or out of season? Um, so does that change from season to season, what you offer on your website? Absolutely. Absolutely. So as I mentioned, I'm kind of sad that we don't have a lot more local produce to show you right now, but obviously it's just the finishing of winter. So if you were to log in in July, you will see a so much more um, produce on our site for sure. Um, the grocery stuff doesn't change as much as we add stuff. We add a lot of stuff to our grocery constantly. Um, I would say at least 10 to 20 items a week in every location. So we're constantly adding new things, especially around the holidays. Um, with Easter coming up, we're adding some lamb to the to the offerings this week, and you'll also see things like bundles, which is basically you can purchase a bundle of products. Um, right now, we have, if you saw on the homepage I was just on, we have a smoothie and juicing bundles going on right here. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit more about the produce. Um, so my favorite category under the produce section in the shop is a section of what's in season. So you can see on the, on the left you have like the best of what's in season. And right now citrus is big because we get a lot of our citrus that isn't um, currently in season in the United States isn't season elsewhere. So it sounds really kind of counterintuitive. It's winter. Did you know citrus is yeah. season in the winter? But um, that's a big part of what's going on. So I go to this page frequently myself. Also, a lot of our hydroponic lettuce is grown this time of year, so you'll see the stuff that's really great right now, um, hydroponic is grown. Leeks are also big in Colorado. I don't know if you knew that this time of year as well. So this part changes constantly, um, and I guess to be more direct answer to your question, produce changes constantly. Um, it's constantly updated, especially there's a lot more during the growing season and with the local offerings, but grocery doesn't change as much as getting more additional stuff added to our site often. Okay, great. Thanks for going into detail on that. Uh, so we have a question from my mom ambassador. I'm wondering if you can get a box that has no fruit and veggies. Can you just get a box, say, full of the pantry items, um, or do you have to start? Or we start with the fruit and veggies and then sub them out for pantry items, or or how would that work when you want to order things on the site other than the uh, the produce? Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the most common questions we've had. So. Uh, at this moment, I'll just go ahead and answer. It's it's produce for produce, and the produce box is required. But you know, we came from more of an online CSA type background, and as we've evolved into more of a uh, you know grocer, we're going to be offering that in the future. So right now, the box is required of produce, but we see that being changed in the future here as we implement a few new systems that allow us to make that happen. Okay, great. We have a mom ambassador um, wondering if you offer gluten-free products on your site, and is there an easy way to search for those products? Absolutely. Gluten-free. So an easy way to do is go up in our search bar and just do a search for gluten-free, and you'll see a whole bunch of our products. But 100 is kind of a lot, so that might be a lot for you to kind of pick through. Um, so you can do it that way. Um, another way I like to go through is actually go through um, the recipes. So you'll also see that when I click gluten-free, the recipe showed up. If you go to see my recipes or pick any one, you can click on individual recipes, and you'll actually see an icon in the bottom right-hand corner show you just recipes related to gluten-free. If you see here under tags, you can click on that, and again, it'll populate the gluten-free products. Another way that a lot of people find easy is on our drop-down. Under the search bar, you can get more specific on the type of products you're looking for. So let's say I was either looking for a recipe or I wanted, in this case, look for gluten-free products. Oh, that's not showing up right now. But you can look, search through the entire site and find um, gluten-free stuff. So probably the easiest way, shorter answer to your question, is just by typing in the top right-hand corner and then searching through the site that way. Or you can go by category and look at material, uh, look at the different options and the different products. Okay, great. We actually have a question um, regarding the recipes. Um, a lot of mom ambassadors are loving that you offer the recipes. Um, some of them are wondering, um, do you add new recipes often? Absolutely. So one of my favorite aspects about our recipes is that we partner with local bloggers. Um, I'm trying to think of one in Colorado. Um, but we go through and actually work with these different bloggers and actually have them send us their recipes. So I'm going to look at some of the most popular ones we have on our site. And I remember this oh, the cilantro smoothie, I remember, is a local blogger. I think she's local to, um, oh, this is such a fun, sorry. Um, but what you can do is go in and look at the different recipes. 
And what you'll see at the very top, Chris Clark is actually our own chef that we have, so she created this one. And let's say I really like Chris Clark's recipe and I want to see what other ones she has. You can click on View Author Bio and you'll see it opens up there, and you can actually go to see more recipes by Chris Clark. Um, I know a blogger that we have local to Chicago. Let me go to the Chicago site. Is Mom, um, sorry, Mama Cuisine. And so I can, I can actually go in the search bar and pull up recipes that she has done with us. So you can see these are some of the recipes she has done. And again, going to the author bio and looking at more recipes by Mom Cuisine, I can see some of the ones she has. So she's one of the bloggers we partnered with out in Chicago. And I think we're at over close to 2,000 recipes with probably about, I don't know, 50 to 100 different bloggers we work with, in addition to our own chef, such as Chris Clark, who makes a lot of recipes as well. So we can get them from all different sources. Great. Sounds awesome. Uh, we have a question from a mom ambassador um, wondering if there's an option to add everything into the box um, that would be needed to prepare one of the recipes that's featured on your site. Yes, there is. Um, so you can go into what's called my plan. We're still not live in Colorado. I'm late. Um, come on. Let's just slow. So as you find recipes you like, I think I mentioned that you can add them to your plan. And so this is a way of actually um, incorporating a schedule of recipes for your whole week. So see how I just added this one to my plans this week? Once you've added recipes into your plan, you can go in and actually shop by all recipes at once, or you can go into the individual recipes, add products as you go by clicking on the little carts, and you can actually add in one or two. And you also notice that things that are checkbox, so in this case, I have avocado coming into my box this week. You can see it right there. And so I know the tofu scramble might be easier for me because I'm already getting avocado. And maybe I just I already have the spices, but I want to add some tofu to my box. I can go in and add tofu that way. Okay, great. Thanks for going over that. We have a question from a mom ambassador who's a vegetarian, and she wants to know if you offer uh, meat alternatives or vegetarian-friendly options. Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, I think about 40% of our customers are vegetarian and or vegan. So um, my favorite place to find this is kind of funny, but if you go to the meat section, <laughs> we actually have a whole section called meat alternatives. So that's a great place to find meat alternative options. You see right here, meat alternatives, and these are obviously all vegetarian. So you can go through and look at the different meat alternative options we have as well. Okay, great. Thanks for showing us that. Um, we have a question from a mom ambassador who I think um, may have missed this when you said this earlier. So if you could just go over this again, um, is wondering if you order a door-to-door -door organics box, will it come once a week or can you change the frequency of it? Well, actually, yes. You can choose. It either comes once a week or once every other week. And you can test that out and play with it and adjust it and, you know, finally get it to your liking. And there's no, there's no kind of penalty for adjusting whether you want to go weekly or every other week. If you're a big veggie and fruit person, I think weekly you'll be surprised how fast you go through it. But if you don't have, a, if you're just working to get more veggies and fruits into your diet, bi-weekly is what we recommend for starting. Um, that way you can kind of manage your own food and make sure that you're using up everything possible so you're not wasting anything. Okay, great. We have a question from a mom ambassador who's wondering, um, is there a minimum order? So that would probably be the small box. So we're just wondering um, what the value of that small box is. Do you know which location that customer is in? Uh, looks like Colorado. Colorado, perfect. So I will go to Colorado. I'm going to log out on my personal account. And when you actually click on the sign up, like I walked through in the presentation, if you click here, you'll see the different options and the prices under at the bottom of each option. So, for example, the smallest option here for the mix option is the $25. But if you want veggies, same price, or just fruit, same price. So all the prices are listed there, and they vary very slightly by location. Is it not more really than a dollar difference, right? Yeah, it's no more than $2. Yeah, and that's just based on the cost of produce in those different regions. Okay, sounds good. So the mom ambassadors can just go to their specific region site, and then they can just find out any size box there. Exactly. So you can even see if I went to Tri-State, same thing, just a little different pricing. If I go to Kansas City, same thing, and so on. It's a little different. Okay, great. We have a question from my mom ambassador wondering uh, what the estimated time frame is um, from when you'll receive the box to when you place the order online, or does it vary for certain items? 
Um, it, it varies. So again, um, one thing to keep in mind is you pick a delivery day each week. So uh, we'll come the same day every week. And so when we launch our orders on Fridays, and if and if your order is on a Wednesday, you have from Friday at about noon, we'll email you till Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. to adjust your order. Uh, we'll close the order Tuesday at 8 a.m. and then your box will arrive Wednesday. And actually, to elaborate on that a little bit, it's a kind of complicated to explain, but basically we're on a weekly cycle. And the way that we do that, the reason why we do that is to help with our ordering process in terms of food waste. So actually, one of the benefits of us versus other grocery stores, we actually order exactly what we need every single week and get it. And that, the big benefit there is you get it as fresh as possible. So we're able to tell the farms, okay, for next week we need this amount of stuff. And that's why we open the orders on Fridays. And so if you're in the tri-state or Chicago region, you've already gotten your email if you signed up saying, here's what's in your box this week. And as I showed you guys, the Colorado one's not quite open yet. It's, we open from East Coast to West Coast. So basically, you'll see, depending on where you live, a different delivery days. So myself, I live in... Um, a part of Colorado where I am actually given the option of getting a five day five different days of delivery so I can choose which day I want. I personally like having my deliveries on Fridays because it gives me more time to go in and change things up throughout the day. But if I had a Monday delivery instead, I'd have till Sunday morning at 8 a.m. to go in and make changes I want. And so here you can see I have six days because my next delivery is on Friday. And within minutes, You'll see, because as Lucas mentioned, we open at noon each local time. So it's 11.45 right now here in Colorado. And so I'm waiting eagerly for my order to open. And the second it does, I'll be able to go in and make subs. But if you're in Tri-State or Chicago, we've already opened orders for the week. So you'll be able to do that, even though I'm not. Okay, great. We have a few questions coming in from the mom ambassadors who were selected um, to sample in this sampling. Um, she's just wondering uh, where exactly you put in um, the code so that she can move forward with that. Oh, yeah. Sure, let me go back to the presentation. So that sign-up page I just showed you, if you go in and put in your code where it says have coupon code, and you get to this page again by clicking on sign up at the top. So you pop in the code that we gave you, hit apply, and make sure you also put in your zip code, and then choose your size of box, and then you, from there you should be good to go. And please let customer service know if you have any trouble whatsoever, and we're happily able to fix any problem you might be having. Okay, great. Thanks for showing that again. Uh, we have some mom ambassadors wondering, uh, what's the most popular box that you guys typically sell? Is it the mixed fruit and veggies or just veggies or just fruit? Do you know what your most popular one is? Yeah, so um, that's actually a good question. And I'll give a bit of an insider tip here. What most of the employees do at Jordan Organics, we, we typically get the bitty box and then we add items to it. Uh, we just enjoy uh, you know, with a large box, you get five substitutions. With a bitty box, you get five substitutions. So what we do is we we adjust our preferences, get the bitty box, and then we add items outside of it because it's just it's kind of an enjoyable experience to put your menus together and whatnot. So the bitty is our most popular, um, and that way you can add items outside of the box as well to suit your plans for the week. Okay, great. We just have a few more questions coming in here. Um, so we have a lot of mom ambassadors wondering, just in your guys' opinion, uh, what do you think is the biggest benefit to using your service? Uh, to our service? Yes, to using the Dorian Organic Service. You know, quite frankly, uh, for me personally, it's just that, um, you know, I, I live in Boulder, Colorado, and Boulder is a smaller town, but it has a lot of traffic. And uh, being able to set my meals up for the week um, and get that off my plate and know that it's coming on a certain day, I don't have to worry about getting in and out of the cold and the snow, especially in the winter, running and fighting the lines in the grocery store. I can come home, I have great quality food, and I can just create my meals, and the thinking's already done for the week. It's, that's the biggest benefit for me, personally. Do you talk about prepared meals a little bit, too? Well, yeah, and that, that's part of it. Uh, if I know there's some nights where I'll be getting home late, um, or just to be frank, I'm a dude, and sometimes <laughs> I like the easy way out. <laughs> you know your wife <laughs> I, uh, I'll grab some of these prepared meals, and... Uh, you know, I'll look like a hero uh, for having some great quality food ready to go when she gets home. And Danielle, actually, it looks like Colorado just opened, so I'm going to actually give you guys an inside look of what it's like for someone to shop through here, if you don't mind. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, cool. So my favorite part, so normally I would get an email. I can actually show you this because I know I just got it. And it's not... Oh, they just made it live. Here we go. So
So you can see my inbox here. This is what the email looks like. So I just got this email saying, hey, Carol, your box is ready to go. So it goes in and sends it to me. So I'm going to actually go in and customize my order by clicking through the email. And just one more thing, you'll see the email has a lot of cool things in it too, like must-try recipes, things on sale, featured items, as well as what's really cool and hot this week. So um, sometimes we do stories or visits, but this changes up every week as does the rest of the content. So you can see here I am. This is my account. So I go through, and the first thing I do is look through my bitty box and think of stuff I want. So I've been doing a lot of citrus recently, and I'm not kind of into it this week, so I don't feel like getting grapefruit. So I'm going to go through this, and I usually pick a fruit for a fruit myself. By the way, avocado is a fruit, in case any of you guys didn't know that. Uh, that <laughs> I learned that since I was working here. Um, and I feel like oh, oranges. You know, even though I wasn't into citrus or grapefruit, I think I would love some oranges, fresh squeezed for myself. And do you like beets, Lucas? I actually like beets. I hate beets. I can't, I, <laughs> but I love butter lettuce. Ooh, added, done. So now I think that's all I want because I like everything else. I like mangoes, apples, bananas. Everything else is good for me this week. You can see I have two types of lettuce, and I love personally mixing my salads. So I do butter lettuce as well as romaine. And so now what I'll do is I'll also look to see what's on sale this week, personally. I mean, it sounds a little thrifty, but I always like to peruse the, the sales section. And we have a cool bundle on right now called the Juice Detox. That's kind of cool. I love juicing. So I'm going to quickly buy this and add to my cart. You can see it was added. If for some reason I wanted to add in more, you can click the little arrow, and you can actually do um, up your numbers or reduce your numbers. Or maybe I didn't feel like the juice box and wanted to do the smoothie box instead. I can go ahead and do that, and you'll see the numbers change. I also love kumquats, so I want to add those in there too because I saw they're also in season. The other stuff on sale. Ooh, I love getting some more salad stuff. As I mentioned, I like to personally mix stuff up. And then what I'll do after I get some of the stuff, ooh, I love the fish. And that's usually how I start. And then if I feel like diving a little deeper, I'll go into my plan and look at the recipes I had either for this week or last week that I've been adding and go shop a recipe too. So spaghetti with broccoli sauce is another one of my favorites, but I've been wanting to try these lentil Asian tacos. So I actually can go through and add stuff that I don't have in my box, too. So you can see I have avocados, and I have carrots, and some sprouts. But I'm also missing some cilantro leaves, so I can add some fresh cilantro to my box as well. So you can see that I added in there. And now I have everything I need to make this recipe. Another way to shop my recipe, if I was really doing something, um, a big plan, and wanted to get all this stuff in, I can shop for my whole plan at once. And what will happen is you'll see I can go in and add stuff recipe by recipe. And I can purchase and go on. You can see the ads items to my box as I go. So this is all the different recipes I had planned for next week. And now I'm done. So that's it. And I just leave it. And then when my order comes through next Friday, I'll be at my box ready to go. Okay. Thanks for letting me share that. Yeah, no, thanks for going through that. You definitely made it very clear for everyone. So I just have uh, one last comment and then one last question uh, for the day here. So we have a comment from Mom Ambassador saying she got her first order Wednesday to sample with her mom's group. And she said the produce tastes wonderful and is so fresh. And she loved that she could do last minute substitutions. So one of the last question here um, is, you know, how last minute can you do substitutions? Does it vary region to region? No, it's, uh, it's across the board, um, and it's, it's the same for everyone. So you have until 8 a.m. the day prior to your delivery. Uh, that's something that actually will probably adjust the time. We've got a new system that will allow us to push that back a bit later this year, um, maybe even up until like 8 p.m. the day before delivery. Uh, but right now it's 8 a.m. the day prior to delivery. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much, guys. That was such a great presentation. Thank you for answering everyone's questions. Do you guys have any closing thoughts before we wrap up? No, just that we're excited to partner with Moms Meet on this, and we're very transparent and open. So please share us anything you, any thoughts of improvements, any um, criticisms or comments. We uh, absolutely love hearing from you guys. Okay, great. Well, everyone attending, thank you again for your time. And to the Mom Ambassador sampling the Door to Door Organic Service, we're really looking forward to your feedback. So we're going to go ahead and log off now. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.